Hey, what's happening? What's going on, YouTube family and those who are watching um, on our website? Wherever you are finding me, hello, what's happening? What's going on? My name is Iyana Ma'at, and I am here representing um, that fabulous dynamic duo, Ayize and Iyana Ma'at. I usually do these videos with my husband, and today I am flying solo. I'm not going to take too much of your time, but if you uh, are looking at this, you were caught by the title, and so um, I'm going to get right to it. I want to liberate some mamas today. I want to loose you <laughs> as we get ready to get closer um, to the end of the summer. Uh, tomorrow, actually, is August 1st, um, 2016, and we're about to wind it down shortly and start back into the school um, uh, situation, school time, right? And so... Um, I, I was compelled to do this because I found something um, on a recent family trip um, that spoke to me. I've seen this quote before. I've seen it in different places, but it spoke to me. It spoke to me so much I had to buy it, y'all. Here it is. Good moms have sticky floors, dirty ovens, and happy kids. Yes, marinate and meditate on that. Um, and so I saw that, and you know why I bought it, y'all? I bought it not because it was the first time I had seen it, not because, you know, it, 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 it you know, was so awesome in terms of how it looks. It's real plain and basic. I bought it because I wanted to have a way to remind myself in my physical space that I don't have to be perfect. I wanted to be able to put it in my kitchen somewhere so that I could remind myself that I'm not going to have everything all together all the time. I'm not going to have everything all together none of the time, if we really be real, and that it is okay. So the title of this is all about moms cutting themselves some slack. And, and I found an article, and I want to take just a few of these things, um, these, these themes from this, um, and, and I want to share this with you. Here's how you can cut yourself some slack, just a few ways. Number one, picture-perfect homes. Look, we see that stuff on TV, but that ain't reality. That is not the truth. You know, we, we want to, 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 to have a certain image. We want people to come over and you say, oh, wow, that's so nice and this looks so great. And we want to, you know, put uh, uh, these pictures out um, around holiday time or what have you sitting in our home and it looks all together. And guess what? It's all an image. It's not real. Because let me tell you something right now, if I took you on a tour of my, of my kitchen, it's some sticky floors over there. And there's some dried up stuff on the counters and people ain't picked up after themselves and it's all good. Release yourself from that. Because when we do that, when we try to attach ourselves to that mess, come on now. It, it, it starts to take you in places that you don't need to go where you're trying to measure up to something uh, that you don't need to measure up to all because of an image you want to create. And who is the image really for? We, we think it's for other people and oftentimes it's for ourselves. We're doing it for ourselves. Hmm, that's something to think about. You are okay as you are. Speak on it, Iyana. I think I am. Uh, number two, here's another way you can cut yourself some slack. We're always worried about our children and what they're eating and am I cooking enough, you know, vegetables. Am I giving them everything they need? Now, I know a few mamas that have cut themselves from this because I talk to some of my friends and they say, look, ain't nobody got time for all of that. I put some stuff in the microwave. Um, you know, I told him you better make yourself a peanut butter and jelly and let's keep it moving. So kudos to those of you who have been a model for me and said, you know what? Sometimes it's just got to be noodles. It's got to be ramen up in there. And no, it's not organic. And no, you know, I didn't put it in the oven. I didn't, you know, marinate it overnight and put it in the crock pot. It literally came out of a box or a can. You know, we want to do well for our children and we should. I am not taking away from the fact that children need good uh, food to make them well and strong. But guess what? At the end of the day, they will not die you didn't, I didn't, and we didn't always eat, what, kosher, <laughs> um, if, if you did at all. Um, and, and, you know, for you, those of you who want to be, and, and these things are speaking to me, I'm only choosing 
uh, from this particular piece that I'm looking at, things that really speak to me, you know, because I've been there. For those of you who want to be that wonderful, awesome volunteer mama at the school doing this and that, because, you know, your mama did it and she did it so well. And, you know, your children love it when you come or your daughter, your son, they want you to be there to come read the book, to come volunteer at the book fair, to come, uh, you know, on the field trip, whatever. And you find yourself coming up short or perhaps your parent didn't do it. So it's become even more important for you because it means something greater than even uh, uh, what your child is taking from it. You're trying to prove something. Release yourself from that foolishness. That's madness. That's ridiculousness. You can do what you can do. It is about the quality time that you spend with your child or children. It is not about showing up a certain number of times to school and meeting a quota. And then at the end of the day, you cannot be a parenting perfectionist. You cannot have it all together. You cannot be the mega mommy uh, and, and have everything looking great. At the end of the day, your children benefit from seeing you vulnerable. Your children benefit from seeing you transparent. Your children benefit from hearing you say, you know, I wanted it to be like this, but I don't know how to do it. I can't figure it out. I'm just not good at this. I am enough anyway. Because when you do that, not only do you model for them that it is okay to just be as you are, but you model for them that if my mama, because of course you're all of that in a bag of chips to them, is as fabulous as she is. And yet she says she ain't perfect and she ain't got this together, but she knows she's all right. Then maybe me, little old daughter or son, maybe I am perfect, whole, complete, and all right too. Release yourself uh, at the end of the day. You can't do any of these things if you don't stop playing and start pushing.